Downwind subfoiling is the ultimate way to surf the river here in the Columbia River Gorge. So what really got me hooked on downwind foiling is that just feeling of freedom. It's an experience and a sensation that really makes you feel alive. The number one challenge in downwind foiling has always been just getting up and going. So when we first started doing sup downwind foiling, um, and we had this as sort of our baseline, uh, to be honest, I, it was hard for me to even tell people to try it because it was that difficult. If you look where we came from just two years ago to where we are now, I don't know if I've ever seen such a big quantum leap in such a short amount of time. And with the right equipment, like the new Dragonfly downwind board, it's an absolute game changer. Uh, it really allows everybody to experience what I've been able to the last couple of years riding really small boards, but have the ease of use to get up and go find an empty lineup. So something I really, really enjoy riding the Dragonfly is the feeling of freedom. Freedom in clearance from the rails, freedom in paddling out, freedom in getting up. I think what makes the Dragonfly the best board on the market right now is how easy it is to get up, how much it feels like surfing, and how comfortable you can be in the air. And the displacement hall is really fast on the low end, and so the water just travels really quickly, and then it's going to hit here. The base plate's uh, going to have less drag because of this Ginsu cut. So the water travels down, hits this Ginsu cut, and then is able to release. I think the future of foiling is open ocean swells. It is riding with your friends and experiencing something so sensational and free. Who's the instigator on this one? This guy. to how far you can go and how many empty waves there are to ride. <laughs>